So how do we go about uploading or importing contacts into REI Reply correctly? So if you have REI Reply, you basically just need to hover over contacts or navigate through the contact field. And then from here, there's basically two ways to add contacts in your CRM. So if you're only adding a single contact, you can always choose this plus icon right here and then manually input, input the details of the contact you're adding into the system and then click on save. But of course, obviously, all of us are actually working on a bulk list. So to import add into the system, you can click this upload icon and then click on import contacts and then automatically the system would give you the option to upload your file. Please take note though that if you're not seeing the import export option in your REA reply, that only means that you do not have the permission to do so because only admin people can import or export file from the system. So to ask permission, you can always contact your admin to give you that permission to do so. So here you can tap upload file or drag and drop a certain file into the section to be able to upload your file. But before we go about uploading an actual file, I just want to talk about a little bit of an SOP of what are the things you need to need to track before uploading a file. Like what are the prerequisites of uploading a file successfully or correctly. So the first thing is you have to make sure that the file you have is a CSV file. It must only have one sheet in it. It must be smaller than 50 MB. Ideally, I would recommend you stay under 10,000 per, although you can actually upload up to 40,000. And I think this is the most important, like including the correct headers or rows following the format below. I do have a sample, you know, lead sheet or I would say like a file format that you can actually use which I will include in the description below. And here is my sample format. So for us, um, I've already copied uh, the actual custom values inside REA Apply to make sure that this is automatically mapped in the system. So I don't have to manually do that, which I'm going to show you later on why. And I think a good thing to mention is me adding a source, like the source of the file, meaning where my list came from, because we are tracking KPIs. So it's important for us to like know exactly where our list came from. So we're always going to include that. And then as you see, I'm already including phone one, two, three, and four. That's because I've already set up a wrong number workflow inside my CRM. So I don't have to duplicate contacts in my system. All right. I have a separate video on how to set up a wrong number workflows correctly, which you can also see on my channel. All right. So going back to REI Apply, you can then, I already have a file ready, like a list um, for upload. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that file. So it's here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And then from here, there are, here you go. So you will have the preview column or preview page. That's going to give you an idea if your spreadsheet is mapped correctly into the CRM. So as you can see, these are the ones that I have in my spreadsheet. These are basically the uh, previewed information, and this is the one in the CRM. So if you notice, everything match 100% because I have used my like my file that has been formatted based of REA reply. Because if I don't, what's going to happen normally, it's going to have the X mark or red icon in here. And what you would need to do is under the contact fields, you would have to map that annually from this section, which I don't want to do because it takes time. So to efficiently do it, just make sure that you use the format instead. So just click on next. And then from here, you will have the final details of what you're trying to import. So notice that you will have the import name for our business. I would always use the format date uploaded, well as the list type name, the market it's actually in so that it's easier for me to identify when that's uploaded in my system. So in this example, let's just say I'm going to use this same exact format. So it's easier for me to identify that that's what it is, right? The option right here that says create a list of contacts from the import only allows you uh, to add this list into a smart list, like a favorite list, a quick list inside your like inside your contact section. We don't want to do that. I don't highly recommend you do that every time you upload a list because then it creates you know multiple smart lists and it it's gonna confuse you um, on a latter part. You only use quick lists for you know like the list you want to work on closely. So for example, warm warm, hot, smart list, etc. 
Okay, but for every new uploads or whatnot, you don't want to use that option. All right, so for this, I'm going to turn that off. And once you click on the advanced settings, you will have three options to select from when a duplicate entry is like recognized during the data import process. So like the first option is the most recommended because this adds new ones from the spreadsheet that are not in like that are not yet in REA reply and it will update any existing contacts that are already in the system of course based upon what you have selected from the you know from this uh, drop down option here so it's either you update them based on a phone number or email or none if you don't want it to but for me i would want to look go ahead and update them Based of the phone number so i wouldn't see that as a duplicate contacts in the crm so that's the first one the new i mean the the other two is very self-explanatory so add new contacts as if you're actually just adding new contacts from your spreadsheet to the system and then the third one is if you have new updated information for an existing contact you want to upload in the crm all right so i think this is new because you can also add second preference so if you just don't want to focus on email you can also just include e you know I mean, if you just don't want to focus on phone, you can also like find contacts based of this too, or you can remove the second preference, all right? You can also like toggle this on if you wanted to update any empty values for any existing records. For me, I would always want to update empty values. If I have something empty and I know that there is a phone number, I want to update that. This is my favorite part, adding tags. Tags is what actually helps us organize our leads inside the system and also to quickly find the list that we're working on. Or let's say if I want to pull my KPIs, it's easier for me if I do have tags. We are adding three tags at this time. It's an our SOP and those are the file name which includes you know which follows the same format that I did use on my import name so I'm gonna add that and then I'm also adding this keep tracing company use so as you noticed earlier I added the source I cannot add like the keep tracing company under source because if I want to pull that you know easily in the side of the system I'm gonna use source and then plus the tag so for me i'm gonna say let's say this one was actually keep trace from batch leads i'm gonna go ahead and add batch leads as another tag and then the other one which is the final tag i'm gonna add is awaiting for response interesting because you know this is the most interesting tag because we use this like if we want to pull a specific list and we want to like know with like who are the people that actually did not respond from that specific list only so i would always want to add this and we have a workflow that automatically removes this as well when the people i mean when responded on our campaign all right so that's the three tags you can add more if you want it depending on how you want to organize your lead and the other one is like automatically adding them to a campaign or workflow i don't recommend you guys turn this on because if you do and then you select you know a workflow inside you know a, a, in the drop down menu here it automatically adds the contacts into that workflow so let's say you automatically want to or like if you have set up in your campaign to send them text it at like it sends them text right away without being able to like organize your campaigns and stuff so i just want to you know turn this off i would only do this if i want to add them to a manual actions like cold calling but in this case i'm just gonna Turn it off and then click on submit and your file is being processed. This is not going to take like more than, you know, more than five minutes, I would say, if you have like larger file. But this one is only going to take a second because this is just a one contact that I'm adding, although I process it through bulk. I think one of the things you guys want to know is also the bulk actions because this is the stats that gives you an idea of what happens to the file that you have uploaded. So in your contacts, you can just click on bulk actions and then from here, you do have an option to show the stats whether that actually created a new contact whether that was updated or if you receive an error and if that if you receive an error why did this contact failed and the, the reason behind this it's because i have a duplicate it's because i've already used this contact and basically this one is giving me like a duplicate error all right so that's basically all about it in terms of like uploading or importing contacts inside the crm if you do have any question please do let me know in the comment section and i'm happy to definitely answer them please do follow follow and subscribe to actually get access to more tutorials on rei to have a great one